Come and join me on a journey into Diesel. Or more precisely, into the common rail system from Bosch. Where we are now, deep inside, oh, the Bosch Electronic Diesel Control Unit, or EDC. Here is where all the information supplied by the vehicle is translated into control commands. Startup actions also begin here. EDC ensures that start conditions are ideal. First of all, the correct temperature must be maintained in the combustion chamber. To achieve this, the EDC coordinates with the Bosch Glow system. The diesel fuel does not ignite until heat and pressure levels are just right. Contrary to the gasoline engine, the diesel engine has no spark plugs. For a cold start, the Bosch ignition system has to bring the combustion chamber up to the right temperature. But with Bosch modern glow systems, this takes less than two seconds. For ignition, the engine needs oxygen, among other things. The control unit makes sure that exactly the right mixture of air mass and fuel mass is supplied for each ignition, allowing the fuel to burn completely and cleanly. Now let's get out of here. I'm here in the air intake tract. This is the air mass meter. It measures the air entering the combustion chamber exactly, so that the control device can precisely dose the fuel mass needed for injection. Moving on now to the throttle device. It can, if necessary, throttle the airflow. For example, when low torque levels require only a small amount of fuel to be injected and a high rate of exhaust gas recirculation is necessary ooh, for avoiding the production of nitric oxide. To ensure that enough exhaust mass is recirculated, fresh air must be throttled to increase the pressure differential. But why direct exhaust gas right back into the engine when it's just come out of there? When the fresh air coming in contains exhaust gas, the peak combustion temperature is lower. And when this sinks, less nitric oxide is produced. But too much exhaust mixed into the fresh air intake isn't good either, so the throttle valve and the exhaust gas recirculation valve coordinate their actions. And what regulates their teamwork? Exactly. The combustion chamber is now tempered. The air is on its way. So what's missing? The fuel. We're here in the fuel tank. The diesel fuel is filtered and then sent through the priming pump and onto the high pressure pump. Let's go straight to the CP high pressure pump from Bosch. What happens here? The fuel is compressed to an injection pressure level of up to 2,000 bar. This high pressure is what enables fuel to be injected with such a fine spray and uniform dispersion into the combustion chamber, which is the prerequisite for efficient and clean combustion. The diesel fuel is conducted under high pressure into the rail, a storage unit. From the storage area, fuel lines lead to the injectors of the individual engine cylinders. Would you like to see how the Bosch injector works? Modern Bosch injectors with solenoid valves or piezo actuators move the nozzle needle so quickly that the injection procedure can be divided into several pre and main injections, short or long in duration, so that each individual injection can be customized. The injection process is always implemented so that the engine runs quietly, cleanly and with low levels of fuel consumption. Pressure and injection are important in enabling fuel to combust completely, so that as much kinetic energy as possible can be obtained. Bosch. Invented for life.